we are having a short holiday in Maldives. So in this video, I'm going to show you around the Male city Maldives. Everyone wants to come here for holidays, but most of the holiday makers will go straight to the private island resorts, but we did it differently. We are going to stay in Male city for four nights and explore the city surround and the local islands and then go into the private island resort but first let's start showing you what the city is like in this paradise country finally in male finally made it apparently this is one of the best hotels in male city that's the room that's a hotel that I'll show you a little bit here, you know, the room is very small, I can tell you. Which has got a bit of an ocean view. The airport is um, directly on the other side. The restaurant here yeah. opened you know, at 6 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Uh, she's a coffee expert from Sydney. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> and I can tell you this coffee is very nice. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's very good in the morning. I feel very happy. <laughs> thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you very You're much. You're welcome. Please enjoy your coffee. Thank you. You're welcome. Scramble egg. And uh, this one is um, beef bacon. They don't do pork bacon here. What can we do in Maldives? Yeah, Malaysia? that's what I'm actually going to explain you regarding when you stay, you say you... This waiter, uh, his name is Riaz, went on in detail explaining what we can do in Malay city. I uh, put out a separate video for this conversation as he won on quite a few minutes. The link of this video is in the description below. Besides there is no bacon and no pork because it's a Muslim country, uh, there's no alcohol in this city. Please ensure that you don't bring any alcohol to the country. When you're traveling, you know, you want to experience local culture, the food, the fruit, the people, the market, the street, whatever. We just want to have a look. We just want to show you what we see. So we're going to show you around what the city is like today. So we just uh, come up from the hotel. We just walk around, show you guys around uh, what's it like in, uh, in Mali. Welcome to Mali, Maldives. It's a... Oh, the water is on this side. So you got to be very careful with uh, uh, when you're walking in the street. Because it looks like there's a lot of motorbike and they're running very fast and the street is a little bit small. There may be a little bit, you know, skeptical. Oh my god, there's a lizard! Wow! It's a bit lizard. Uh, the airport's right over there. It's uh, in an island separate from Male city. It's called uh, Hulumale, which is uh, you have to go across the bridge. So this temperature, it's about 29 degrees. It's a little bit humid, but it's very comfortable temperature here. It's overcast, not sunny, um, but at least it's uh, not raining. Uh, I believe April to October, it's a um, monsoon season or something. So it's uh, supposed to be have a lot There's of a, rain. Uh, expo. Really? Maldives Marine Expo, 11, 12, 13. Mm. Interesting. There is a lot of Chinese uh, uh, influence here. This building is built by Zhong Tian Building Company. See, it's right in front of water, the new development. Look, beautiful prime location. The thing that I really like is the water is just so clear. Yeah. Like you can see the fish. The only downside is uh, they just need to clean the rubbish up a little. Look at this uh, restaurant, Seahouse Maldives. Uh, open 24 hours, right in front of water. I think Friday it's their day off uh, in terms of work. Because of uh, praying? Uh, apparently they do Friday prayers or something. And then the shops close, so everything opens late in the afternoon. We have been to uh, many Asian countries, you know, say for example China, uh, Philippines, Philippines Vietnam. Vietnam and Thailand. Looks like most of the street, you know, scenes are similar. They all got this kind of uh, the shops underneath, 
and then our residential upstairs. Um, yeah, I think up here it's pretty clean. I find it compared so far, to so far it's been clean. Yeah, compared to you know Phuket, for example, we walk around the Phuket uh, town, quite a bit more dirtier than here. But here it's, things are very clean mm. and a bit orderly. Yeah. Motorbike is the uh, major uh, transportation for all these uh, you know people living here. The funny thing is sometimes I saw a little baby sitting right in front of the motorbike. So one hand holding the baby, the other hand saying, you know, riding the motorbike. It's very dangerous. In Australian devil we wouldn't be allowed, but in these Asian countries, um, they have their own rules. They have their own rules. We drive past this uh, building last night. They say it's uh, the biggest uh, mosque in this country. And they say the bridge is built by Chinese uh, four or five years ago. And uh, it link into these uh, two islands, you know, from uh, Male to Hulumale to the other side, where the airport sits. You can see the airplanes uh, sitting on the other side from distance. Uh, in Maldives, there are 1,200, 1,200 islands. Half of the populations uh, lives in uh, Male city. The US dollar is the main currency used, you know, in uh, Maldives here. There you can see, it's got the. USD ATM center here. This uh, beach is uh, man-made, so all the sands, you know, they move here to make a you know man-made beach. Oh wow! Look at this. Bikinis and speedos are not allowed in any of the Maldives public beach, including this one, unless you are too bored and want to get into trouble. Very nice. Since COVID starts, you know, China closes border. Let's hardly see any Chinese. Oh, well, I'm one of them now, but I'm from Sydney. You're an artificial I'm Chinese. No, I'm a real Chinese, oh, yeah. but from, from Sydney, Australia. Oh, wow. Is it a Chinese embassy? Been walking around the city for nearly an hour. So far, the experience is very pleasant. Uh, people are friendly, they keep it to themselves. They don't really, you know, interact or be rude or anything like that. They're mostly polite. Most importantly, the weather is good. Yeah, the weather's good, you know. Uh, Maldives is a Muslim country, so Friday they have a Friday price. So most of the shops are closed, and some of them are open late after lunch, maybe. But before lunch, you know, it's uh, hardly see any shops open. Even grocery stores, they close. Uh, you also expect some garbage in the street. See, bikes are everywhere. Every street you go, it's got some bikes. Oh, motorbike. No wonder this city, Male city, is the most density city in the world. Look at the street, you know, how narrow it is, very tiny. Residential buildings about seven, eight stories. Um, yeah, very tiny city. Uh, it's got the 250,000 people living in this city, so that's why it's pretty dense. I think every family owns a motorbike here. Oh, 100%. <laughs> Everybody got a motorbike. So compared to Australia, in Sydney, such in Sydney, we got houses like 500 square meters, two stories, three bedroom to five bedroom. So we're living in a heaven compared to size wise. The people living here are very tiny little apartments. Uh, <clears throat> and apparently the apartments aren't very cheap to buy. Yeah, it's not cheap you know, to, to buy or rent. Uh, one bedroom, you're looking at about 12, 15 square meters. Uh, they say it's about 1,000 USD a month, a month just yeah. rent. So, the message to Aussie people there you are living in a heaven. And I also noticed uh, the people here, even such a hot weather, 29 degrees, they hardly, I hardly see any men wearing their shorts. They all wear long pants. They may wear um, t-shirts but they're all wearing long pants oh no that's a culture that's how they leave I think we may need to slowly head back to the hotel I don't think we're gonna find any shop that's open for a drink what do you think oh, no, let's uh, continue walk a little bit yep. also it's um, very easy to to be seen like as a tourist you know, oh well, besides I look like Chinese, of course I'm Chinese. Um, yes, um, 
looks like you know the majority are local people I think it's because of COVID really affecting you know the tourism here there's not many tourists that I see so far all I see is uh, all local people we found a found a shop that actually opens I'm getting a... I'm thirsty, I'm getting... What are you getting? This one's pretty good. Yeah. It's malt. We we'll walk around for more than an hour now, so it's very thirsty. This is a non-alcohol malt beverage, so don't get too excited. You can't get alcohol here. So it's not beer, metal, like a beer bottle. It's not beer. Perfect. I'm thirsty now, I don't really care what it is, but... Let's see. This is too... How much is it? Which are this one? 23. Just a uh, US dollar. Uh, in US dollar, it will cost three dollars. Three dollars. That's it. Perfect. Thank you. The best moment for the last one and a half hour. <laughs> it actually tastes very nice. This is what's a mojito. Is this mojito? Yeah, it's a malt drink. Okay, so it's got a mojito ingredients except alcohol. You just pretend it's a beer. So do you like the video so far? If you do like it, you know what to do. If you don't like it, just pretend you like it. This is Alan and Ariana here. We're from Australia. Give us a thumbs up. Yes, please. Thumbs up. We help us a lot. Thank you so much. What are you doing? Trying to cut the branches? Well, I want some small branches. Oh, small branches. Is this mango tree? Yeah. Mango tree. Wow. You got a knife up there and a stick. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Good luck. Bye bye. 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 From uh, Sydney, Australia. Sydney? Yeah, very far away. But love it. Thank you. Bye. See you. We finished the drink for the last uh, 15 minutes. We're holding the bottle. We don't know what to do with this bottle because I didn't see any rubbish bin and I don't want to put it anywhere just in case being told off we just hold it until we get to the hotel room. even I saw the rubbish bin it's just on the floor there but I don't want to drop my bottle on the floor just in case being told off since when do you behave well oh, of course from Sydney Australia give a good impression to the people here that we Aussies are very nice people <laughs> clean at least no comment even there is a bottle on here i don't want to do that are you sure that's not your bottle no 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 i got my <laughs> bottle here so this gentleman trying to trying to take us to the local shop to buy something some what sort of product you selling what is this what's this local oh. items local items ah oh, thank you very much it's a local Sort of uh, um, what is a souvenir? Yeah, souvenir, my souvenir. Your souvenir. Oh, wow. wow. So come out there. Okay, maybe later on. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. It's interesting. I would like to support them, but you know, at the same time, um, you don't know where uh, yeah, they're taking us. You know. 50 years tourism, 2022. So this is like. A major square, I would say. That's uh, Maldives uh, Police Services. That's our uh, president's office. Look at this. Wow, the building is uh, massive. I didn't realize uh, the president's office was right here, about you know 50 meters from the hotel that we're staying. Um, yes, right next to the water look at this right in front of the water no wonder there's a lot of a cost guard in the ship there it's amazing okay so this concludes our walking tour showing you around what's it like in, in Maldives in the city uh, Male city I would say Male. Yeah. so we're gonna stay here for the next uh, 10 days or so so please welcome check back in if you uh, haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe now it's never too late <laughs> see did you hear that yes subscribe to our channel for more and uh if you can give a thumbs up to our video if you're enjoying it that would be really great thank you very much